Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well and learning lots from my videos. Now in this video, I am going to demonstrate you about the Bakula server. Bakula is basically a backup server solution for Linux and I in this video, I would be demonstrating how to install and deploy Bakula server on Ubuntu 15.04 version. Now before we begin about the deployment of Bakula, let us get ourselves aware what is Bakula, what is its importance and what is its website. So if I go to google.com and I search Bakula, now you can find there is a website called blog.bakula.org and if you click over here, you can find that Bakula open source network backup solution. So you can see over here that Bakula is a set of open source computer programs that permit you to manage backup, recovery and verification of computer data across network of computers of different kind. So let us fire up the installation of Bakula and I would be explaining step by step and each and every command and the link of this website would be available to you downstairs in the video so that you can take it as a ready reference and believe me everyone if you follow step by step instruction it is very easy to deploy and very easy to manage and it is a very good highly backup solution for Ubuntu users to backup their crucial data and not even Ubuntu, you can even deploy this Bakula on Red Hat, on Fedora, on Debian, even on OpenBSD. So any operating system, you name it, they have their support. So let us open our VMware workstation and go to, that is our console. So before I begin with the Bakula server, let us first of all log in with the root. So with the same commands, su space minus, that is enter, and let me give the password. Now we are entered into the root. So let us first of all, as I've already told you that we have to update the system. So here we follow the command that is apt hyphen get update. So make it sure that whenever you deploy anything or whether you want to work even a single activity, do update your system so that every repositories, every packages are regularly updated and you keep yourself updated with your, uh, with your operating system, different repositories from different parts of the packages. So now you can see that uh, the update of the system has been done. So let us begin the part one and we have to deploy the MySQL server. Now why MySQL server? Because as we know that MySQL is regarded as a backend server. So uh, in order to deploy Bakula, in order to maintain its repositories and the backup, we need the MySQL server. So here we fire the command that is apt hyphen get, that is install MySQL hyphen server. So let us press Y and press enter. So it is requiring about 20.2 MP. So we will just uh, take uh, about a minute to deploy it. So whenever you are prompted with the password, so you have to type your password of your choice. In this video, I will be taking my name as the password everywhere. So you can take your name, you can take some series of keywords. So whatever you want to take, you can take. It is your own choice. So almost we have done with the download of the MySQL client. And now we are deploying with the MyServer SQL core. So just almost we are done with the download part and after that we fire up the installation. <laughs> so almost done we are then. Okay. So it has fetched 20.2 MP. So here you are prompted with the password uh, window. So here I type my name and press enter and I have to repeat the password for confirmation. My name again, press enter. And now we are going to start with the installation part of the Bakula server and Bakula client. So now you can see that the process has been started. 
So now let's clear this and now let us fire with the installation part of Bakula server and Bakula client. So give the command sudo apt hyphen get install Bakula server space Bakula client. So it is requiring about 3 MB. So will take no much time. So now during the installation we have to configure our Bakula server and Bakula client. I will be telling you in just series of simple steps how to do it. So yes, we require the Postfix configuration for that. So click tab and here you can have the, uh, the red mark on the OK. So click enter. So Postfix configuration, general mail type of configuration. So make it sure that it is internet site. So again I press tab and I click enter OK. So this is the post pick configuration that is called fully qualified domain name. So I, re I required no need to change that is Ubuntu system mail. So I click it OK. And now we have to configure the database for Bakula with DB config commons. So we are having the data big, big config conference. So press Yes, so click enter and now we have to configure the database password. So we have to give the same database password which we have given during MySQL installation. So I type my name that is Anand. So click OK and again we have to type the application password, my name itself and we have to confirm the password. So OK. So now the Bakula is fully deployed. So now we have to create backup and restore directory. So we can say that is sudo mkdir space minus p slash my backup slash backup to space my backup oblique restore. Directories have been created. So we have to put some permissions. So we have to set permissions and ownership to directory. So we can say that is sudo chown space minus r bakula colon bakula space my backup slash so sudo space minus r oops so sudo space minus r that is number 700 the full backup so slash my backup slash so it's giving some command error so now it is okay. Sorry. sudo ch mode space minus r slash my backup. Yes, now it is done. So now we have to configure Bakula. So we should type the command that is sudo vi slash etc slash Bakula slash bakula hyphen dir dot conf. So this is the main configuration directory. So now we have to find this section which I'm going to show you in the file right away. So let us scroll downstairs. So we have to find the job. So this is where the job is there. Have to scroll down much. Yes, so we have find out. So click insert. So in the, the where we have to remove this location and we have to give our location which we have directories which we have created that is slash my backup slash restore. Okay. So next we have to find the list of files to be backed up. So here we have that is the full set. So here the file is there. So we have to give this file into my directory that is slash home slash anand. So I have to go to the exclude section. So here we have, now here we have to put one entry of the file. So I press space, I give file is equal to slash my backup. So let us save the file. 
WQ. And now we have to update the Bakula storage daemon settings. So I fire this command sudo vi slash etc slash bakula slash bakula hyphen sd dot conf. So over here I go to this location that is device location over here. So scroll down. So now we have this location over here. And now we have to change this archive device. So I just press I to insert mode. And now I have to type in the location. My backup oblique backup. And now we have to save the file. And now we have to check the configuration by firing up this command. So here the command I copy it and I paste it. So now it has given it okay. So the configuration is very fun, very finely done. So okay. So we have to restart the services now. So sudo systemctl restart bakula hyphen director. So it has started. So systemctl restart bakula hyphen ft sudo system ctl restart bakula hyphen sd so now it has started and now we have to manage our bakula using webmin so in order to install webmin if i go to the business command that is apt hyphen get install webmin it will give the error that is it is unable to find the location the package of webmin because it is not there we have to add the repositories so we have to type in one command that is sudo vi slash etc slash apt apt hyphen sources dot list so come in the end and we have to add these two lines which i will be giving you in the location in the video downstairs so just come in the end press i and paste it so right click over here, paste. So this is it. So now we have to add the JPG key. So take this command, the webmin JPG key so that we have the JPG command over here. And press enter. It will be downloading the JPG key. Yes, it has been downloaded. So we have to add the JPG key. So it is okay. And now we have to update our repositories. So apt hyphen get update. Because we have added two source files. So now it will be updating the two sources over there. And now we are able to install the webmin software. So it is there. And now let's fire the installation of webmin. So apt hyphen get install webmin. So now you can see that I have got it. So it is about 27.9 MB. So we will not find much difficulty to download. It will be just taking a minute or two to download. So if you have a very high speed connection, as you can see that I'm getting a speed of 551 kbps. So you will not face any difficulty to download package in an instant manner. So after that we have to allow the port 10,000 via firewall to open the console. So all the commands will be listed downstairs in the video. You can use as such in order to deploy everything which I have seen in this video. So it has downloaded and now it is installing. So it can take some time. And now it is initializing a catch and it is setting up the webmin. So the version 1.770 is there. It might be a latest version. You can all check it from its website. So 
so it can take some more time but we have to wait so it is setting up the webmin now So installation is complete now. So let us give this command that is sudo ufw allow 10,000. So 10,000 port will be updated for webmin. So now let us have our IP address with the command that is if config. So we have the IP address that is 192.168.117.149. So I copy over here and I open the web browser. So the root uh, terminal work is over. So let us fire this command. HTTP slash slash my IP address colon 10,000. So we have to just fire the understanding of the risk. Add exception and confirm security exceptions so now it is there and yes so now we can just click on system bakula backup system and now we have to click on this module configuration and now you have to just type over here mysql click over here the MySQL and password of the MySQL password and click on save. So now you can see the ready-made console which is going to be opened in just a couple of time. So it is connecting. Yeah. So now you can see that the configuration has been done and the Bakula server daemon is up, storage daemon is up and file daemon is up. So you can start at boot, you can click on start at boot and now it will be, uh, when the Ubuntu will be booted, it will be started automatically. So in this video, I have shown you how easily you can configure Ubuntu 15.04 with the Bakula backup server. So do have backups of your data because we are all sitting on an electronic industry and everything can be corrupted anytime. So take a backup of your uh, data at regular intervals and do give this uh, 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 Bakula server a shot to install. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.